Hello everyone and welcome back to CJ Explores. This week we're in the Gold Coast hinterlands once again, uh, this time at O'Reilly's Rainforest Retreat. We've just spent about half an hour driving up all these winding roads and we're going to go to a, a treetop walk. There's uh, waterfalls and amazing lookouts. Let's do it. Campground and accommodation is situated up in a Lamington National Park in the Gold Coast hinterlands and you can come here, you can get married here, you can stay here. However, they do have some free places you can go to if you're not a guest, such as this treetop walk. There's lots of different um, bush walks you can do, like short and longer ones, there's a lot of hikers about, and there's a couple of waterfalls that you can go and see, and there's some lookouts too. Walk. It looks like a funky bridge. People are climbing up the trees on ladders. From here you can see 60 species of trees, 14 types of vines and many other ferns and mosses. But right now we're going to go up this little tree here. There's a ladder which goes up the tree from the treetop walk. Uh, and I'm not sure what's up there. Let's check it out. Okay, so this is the very top of the ladder, and it's like a little uh, turret on the treetop. Um, pretty small, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to be up here. Uh, you can see a lot of moss on these trees, and a lot of different types of treetops you can see from up here too. Just 40 meters off the end of the treetop walk, there's some gardens. It's not part of the, Nas the Lamington National Park gardens, it's part of O'Reilly's, I guess. And yeah, there's just a small garden area. It looks kind of like, I don't know. Secret lost, garden. Yeah, like secret garden vibes in here. Quite cute. We hear whipbirds all the time when we're walking around the Queensland's National Parks and we've just seen some up close for this first time and we're a little bit excited. I think we're getting into our birds now that we're living in Australia and there's so many amazing noises in the rainforest. But yeah, they make the incredible noise. The male starts off the that bit and then that whip is followed by the female bird and they have like a little mohawk on their head. They're very cute. Look at you, bird expert. Bird expert. I think I need to get some binoculars and a bird book. You go to the cafe and gift shop, you can pick up a bird feeding tray and then when you start your little walk, uh, there's a little spot where all the parrots go and they're very pretty and they come and feed right from your hands. Okay, now we're on the Morans Falls lookout track. Uh, it's actually 4.4 kilometers. We thought it was only like a drive to get out to, to the lookout, but it's a little bit longer than we thought. Uh, one and a half hours return um, and we've seen a lot of people with muddy shoes. <laughs> That um, wailing sound you can hear is a catbird. It sounds like kind of the shriek of a cat screaming in a way, and yeah, that's why it's called the catbird. 
say here Moran's Falls clearing so I've been going around there's some nice kind of open patch there and get a good view of the waterfall uh, but I think this is the way I've got O'Reilly's trail so I guess you can carry on that way if you want to go back up to O'Reilly's if that's where your car's parked right so at the end of the Moran's Falls track you have this amazing view of the valley um, looking really far into the distance all the mountains and to the right is the waterfall, you can't really see it, I think it's slightly overgrown so if you go back a little bit you have a better view of the waterfall but it's this amazing view behind us. We don't recommend this at home but if you just go across the fence and you can walk down here and you're right on top of the waterfall and it seems that a lot of people come here for a photo and it's chill. Yeah, a little bit dangerous but it's okay if you stay up here, just don't go too far down. quite lucky today because there has been a bit of rainfall here so this uh, waterfall there is actually quite a fair bit of water down it um, if you go further back from the waterfall's edge though there's a lot of places where you could probably have a little um, soak in the in the rock pools up there quite shallow but enough to sit in and quite comfortable just yeah be aware if there's any rain this thing is going to go off really quickly <laughs> Pretty cool waterfall up here, it's just another one of the jewels of the Gold Coast hinterland. Uh, but we did see some rain falling out in the valley below, so we are going to try and race back to our car before it hits here. Not sure if it's coming, but we better get up before it gets too muddy and slippy down here. <laughs> Like the weather is about to change so we're gonna gap on out of here so we've got to go down those windy rows back down to um, the valley and then we're gonna scoot right up to Brisbane so we'll see you next week in next week's vlog bye, -bye.